All right, man, Torture Talk, 6 o'clock. You know what it is, man, 6 o'clock show, 6 o'clock show. All right, man, so today's episode, uh, Joe Buttons tells a story about Diddy approaching him to come to one of his parties, and we're going to listen to what he said and how it transpired. Before I get into that, you know, I got to get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing if you're new here. Let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, single, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content, and that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is on the screen. Cash at PayPal is in the description. Thank y'all for all y'all donations. I've been getting a lot of donations. Um, <laughs> I feel good. I ain't going to lie. Thank y'all. You know what I'm saying? Really appreciate it. I wish I could shout out everybody, but I don't like to say people's name. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know if you people want your name out there like that. If you do and you leave a donation, you want me to shout you out, I'll shout you out. It's no big deal. But I just personally don't want to throw that out there. You know what I'm saying? And um, once I reach 20,000 or, or maybe 15,000 subscribers, I'm going to start doing lives. And I'm, be able to, I'm, a, I'm actually going to do lives and I'm actually going to have people call in and talk. You know what I'm saying? And I want to Talk about my play a video and have people call in and talk with me. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be coming soon. You know what I mean? So be on the lookout for that. Um, yeah. And I'll get my take and you can give me a take. And if you disagree, you really disagree. And that's it. So, you know, let me know where you're from, too. They call me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to almost 11,000. Monday morning, I have a million. I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh, shit, a million subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> that's how it goes. All right. So look, man, we're going to get into this video. This comes from courtesy of Never Give Up. Shout out to him, man. Link will be on the screen. You know, I always put the content creator in the box. So look, let's get it. All right, so let's get it, man. Six o'clock. You know what it is. Let's go. <laughs> let's see what the Pie Father had to say. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. You got to know when to leave a party. And you got to know when a vibe that you're invited to is not your vibe. Okay. Keep talking to Keep, because me and Keep, Keep come with me on my trips, my LA trip. Mm -hmm. We run to LA real quick. Mm -hmm. And Puff was like, Yo, man, we're going to Burning Man <laughs> tonight. <laughs> it's in the desert, it's in the woods. <laughs> All right, what time does it end? It doesn't end. It doesn't. Yo, that's funny as hell. That is so funny. <laughs> it doesn't end. Against the law, they banned it a year ago, and all of us are going to fucking party hard. No. And, uh, it's against the law, they banned it a year ago, and all of us are going to fucking party hard, you down? No. <laughs> no. Nah, Nothing about one. what you're saying is fucking party hard, you down? No. <laughs> no. Nah, Nothing about one. what you're saying is my vibe, even if it was. Cat William, Cat William said it. Burning Man, a band festival in the woods with just a dog. Mm -mm. No. Burning Man looks I like, like Mad Max. I That's not a festival. I am going to be. Oh, no? no. Yes. Yes. Oh, you no, know. I know you wasn't going. I text, I text Keeve, yo. Nigga talking about the Burning Man. I'm staying in bed. <laughs> yo, the Smart. bed, yo. The bed. It feels so good. In I got a hotel, too? I got to go back over to Fred and get some more sheets, too. The bed feels fine. Find a <laughs> show that you like. There you go. <laughs> Turn the air on so the sheets get cold mm. when you get in. Make it an experience. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you've been doing some shit, being dirty all day, take a shower around Ooh. 9 p.m. Mm. Throw some motherfucking baby powder. Do some shit on you. <laughs> Go get your favorite bed. drinks and, and food. The, you the bed. I mean? Open a window. Sit there. Look at the sky. Drink a glass of wine or something. Do a, I hit a vice. Hey, hit that girl that you like while you're sitting in bed. Yo, yeah. make bed Great again. <laughs> as much as you I'm work not. too, if you work a lot, 
Mm. Don't you want that downtime? You don't want to keep partying and all. You know, the feeling I get when I go to bed at around <laughs> 10, 10, 30, 11, maybe even 11, 30. Bro, that is 100% facts. I'll be working hard. But if I get a chance to go to bed early, like 9 o'clock, I, I know that's unheard of. But one time I actually was so tired and I took a shower. I said, you know what? I'm going to sit up and watch this show. Man, I, I sat on the bed after I took the shower, laid back. And next thing you know, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. It was 9 and it's 4. I woke, I'm like, oh, still went to Crown Friday, got me some chicken. <laughs> I know y'all like, you eat from ground fried? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they be coming through on the late night. I ain't gonna lie. I'm so old, I say, oh my God, where did the time go? Yo. That's how old I am. <laughs> when it's 11.30, I be like, oh my God, it's getting late. <laughs> the feeling I get going to bed at 11.30 and God open my eyes at around 4.30. Oh, I got another day. <laughs> and I'm still in yeah. Not get that some, burning, man. some niggas can't do that, bro. The burning man, you Dog. niggas is burning. In the At crib. Oh, they man. might be burning them. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about, nigga? Mm. Hey. I want to wake up and pick up my phone on 100% off the dresser and look at footage of y'all doing all the shit I would never do. <laughs> that is a great 5 a.m. morning <laughs> to me. Coffee, a cigarette, and you guys' regrets in 8K <laughs> on my phone. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the bed. That's a good time. The bed. The, the bed. bed. All right, y'all. In the words of Cat Williams, you gotta tell Diddy no. So let me tell y'all about Burning Man. This is the event that Diddy invited Joe to. Now, Burning Man, from what I hear, it's a place where a lot of famous and rich people meet up every year. And some people say it's an orgy where everybody is getting high. Other people say it's a place where people go to get enlightening and everybody's finding their true inner selves. And, you know, they talk about it's this experience that's so eye-opening. Bro, I never heard of this. And I and I I be hearing a lot of shit, especially conspiracy stuff. But I never heard of this. I'm glad I never heard of it. But I never heard of this. The Burning Man. That's a crazy ass name. The Burning Man. Again, it's so transformative and crazy. You see a little kid back there on this picture. I think that's a kid. Either that's a short person or a kid in the background in this picture. But this is a few photos from a. 2014's Burning Man, all right? I also know there's a part during Burning Man where they build these kind of like statues or like houses, and it's a part of like this activity that they all do together. So this is one of the things that was built during the recent Burning Man, this kind of like statue of two people kissing and everybody's helping each other. To me, getting high, building stuff, playing games, drinking, partying. Also, recently at a Burning Man, they did this thing where they all, like, sat in this, like, crop circle. And they said they what were preparing the for Exodus, that? okay? Yo, that's crazy. Bro, that's all people? Yo, that's nuts. Is this all people? I don't know if that's all people. That might be something else. Maybe it's maybe it's trucks and people and vans and that's crazy. So this is what the the rich people all around the world are doing at Burning Man. All right. Also, I'm gonna assume everybody there is not rich, but it's still you know one of those things where it seems like a lot of the elites do this. All right. So they built some kind of crop circle and they was all sitting in this crop circle. You see how it's like a perfect U. Here's a better view of that if y'all wanted to see Yo, it. That's crazy. Because they said this that year where they did this kind of like circle, it was even seen from space so they could see it from space. And that was in 2022. They also say when you leave Burning Man, you could be trying to get out of there for about nine hours because it's so jam-packed, all right? 
and no, this last photo, this is not a fake picture. This is, you know, some photos taken from Burning Man. So this is the party Diddy wanted to go to, and he wanted to bring Joe Budden, all right? They dress up in costumes. They get high. They have a good time. They build stuff. Sometimes they sleep in tents. I heard sometimes they don't bathe. They don't wash up. And I heard it's a lot of orgies. I heard there's a lot of freaking going on, and, you know, it's like what happens at Burning Man stays at Burning Man. It's people <laughs> taking photos. <laughs> what happens at Burning Man stays at Burning Man. <laughs> what happens to Burning Man stays to Burning Man. <laughs> but just everybody's running around looking crazy and you know it sounds like a diddy type of party now lucky for joe diddy didn't tell him you know if you want this revolt deal you gotta come to this party and dress up all crazy and we gotta we gotta find each other spiritually at burning man you know i'm, I'm hoping that's not what happened Joe said he turned it down. He was not at Burning Man. I'm sure if he was at Burning Man, it would be some type of photos. It would be like one bald black guy with a cigarette and a crazy-ass outfit. We never saw that. I'm willing to take Joe's word. But uh, this is the type of partying that Diddy liked to do. Also, by the way, y'all have never heard of anybody in court getting in trouble for something that happened at Burning Man. Think about that. This has been going on for years. Cause you know it's 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 a good time, all right? Mm. Such a good time as it's crazy. <sighs> man. Yeah, man. That's crazy, man. I never even heard of that. And that's this that goes to show you, man, even if you are in tune, sometimes you're not in tune. I never heard of a burning man. Never. I think I seen that pyramid thing, though. But I never heard of burning man. And I tell you, man, people would do anything. To get recognized. For clout or anything. And that's just another example of. of uh these things, man, that we just see people doing. And it's 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 just it's disgusting, man. It really is. It's really disgusting to see. So I don't know. But shout out to Joe, man, for not going and not participating in any of that. I don't I wouldn't believe that he would do something like that anyway. You know what I'm saying? Joe usually Joe don't like to be a brown. He's 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 a he's an introvert. He's like one of them guys that he don't like. To, he's one of the only niggas I know that went to the strip, that goes to the strip club to play and play Monopoly at the strip club. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But all right, man. You have yourself a good night. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to grab me something to eat. Make sure y'all make sure y'all go get y'all something real good to eat, man. I might order me some uh some Korean fried wings, some, uh, what's that, hot and, what's that, sweet, sweet hot, sweet hot or garlic parm Korean fried chicken wings. They are excellent where I live at, so, double fried. All right, so, I'm out of here. See y'all. Peace. Bye. <laughs>